Hi, I'm Jesse. Let's have a devotion. In our series, Radical Family, we're applying biblical wisdom to our dynamics at home and the way that we interact with each other, the way that we treat each other. Uh, we saw yesterday this call to put away uh, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and filthy language from your mouth. And verse 9 continues, do not lie to one another since you have put off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self. Okay, you're a new person now. So don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. You're being renewed, the text says, in the knowledge, in knowledge according to the image of your creator. You're being made into his image anew. So don't lie. This, uh, this title for the devil is the father of lies. And it's said that when he lies, he speaks his native language. So when we lie, we're speaking in the tongue of the enemy of God. Don't lie to each other. Don't lie. And there can be lies as well of omission. You know, there can be lies of coversion where you're, you're trying to, you're just, you're really good at hiding your tracks. All right, dad, can we be real? Be honest for a second. Do you take measures to conceal your actions? Watch what's going to happen when you repent. Watch what's going to happen in the context of your, your marriage and the health of your home. As you, as you repent from this, All right? Don't lie. Yeah, but Jesse, I'm not saying any untrue words, but if you're being duplicitous, this is the same thing. This is the same thing. It's possible then to be dishonest without actually speaking. What would happen with a clean sweep? Okay, moms as well. Do you take any actions to cover, cover your tracks? What would happen if you repented from that? Think on how your husband might see you differently because he'll truly see you. Kids, are you really crafty? Look, don't lie to your parents. Don't, don't take measures to conceal your actions to try to cover up sin. It only rots and festers and gets worse in the dark. Don't lie to each other. Come on. If you profess Christ, you've put on the new self. You put the old self away. All right, the old self and its practices, they're being put away. You're being renewed in knowledge according to the image of your creator. So don't lie, don't lie. It's not appropriate for you anymore. It may have come naturally to you because you're born with a sin nature. We're all born totally depraved. We all are born with like black belts in sin. No one ever had to teach you how to sin. Nobody had to teach you how to lie. It just came naturally to you. But would you, would you consider what could be different in your home if there were to be a new policy of complete honesty, not just in the way that you talk to each other, but in the way that you live life around the house? Is it time to clean out some closets, some attics? All right, it's good to have a place of solitude and solace, but if you have taken actions to conceal sin somewhere in your house, implementing this aspect of the text is going to physically affect our homes. All right, so go, by all means, open them up open up the places that you've used to conceal sin and let's ascribe a new purpose to that space in the house. Don't lie to each other. Let's have a policy of complete honesty and then watch the peace that it brings. Watch the joy. Watch the beautiful feeling of security that now that you're not lying, you're not being duplicitous, you're not trying to cover tracks anymore. You're known and you're loved and it's real. They're not just loving the facade. They really do love you. Let's not lie to each other in our church. Let's not lie in our homes.